एन आर एफ टू और द एन एफ ई टू रिलेटेड फैक्टर टू इज ए ट्रांसक्रिप्शन फैक्टर इन ह्यूमन्स इनकोडेड बाई ए स्पेसिफिक जीन दैट रेगुलेट्स द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ अ सेट ऑफ एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट एंड डिटॉक्सीफाइंग एजेंट्स एन आर एफ टू इज द हेड ऑफ आवर इंटरनल डिफेंस सिस्टम इन दिस वीडियो आई शेल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एन आर एफ टू सेनर्जाइजर्स एंड देन अल्टीमेटली गो ऑन टू शो यू हाउ मॉलिकुलर हाइड्रोजन एक्ट एज ए सेलेक्टिव एन आर एफ टू एक्टिवेटर मीनिंग इट वर्क ओनली वेन द बॉडी नीड्स इट फ्रॉम द कम्फर्ट ऑफ योर ओन होम यू कैन एक्सेलरेट एंड एक्टिवेट द एन आर एफ टू एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट डिफेंस पाथवेज बाई सिंपली ड्रिंकिंग इलेक्ट्रोलाइज रिड्यूस्ड वॉटर रिच इन मॉलिकुलर हाइड्रोजन प्रोड्यूस्ड थ्रू वॉटर इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस सप्लीमेंटिंग विद एन आर एफ टू एक्टिवेटर्स इज बिलीव्ड टू ऑफर ए नंबर ऑफ रिमार्केबल हेल्थ बेनिफिट्स फ्रॉम रिड्यूसिंग इन्फ्लोमेशन एंड पेन टू प्रोटेक्शन अगेंस्ट डायबिटीज रिड्यूसिंग इंसुलिन रेजिस्टेंस एंड प्रोटेक्शन अगेंस्ट अ वराइटी ऑफ डीजेनरेटिव एंड इम्यून बेस्ड डिजीजेस टू बेटर अंडरस्टैंड द रोल ऑफ एन आर एफ टू वन नीड्स टू हैव अ बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ फ्री रेडिकल्स एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट्स एंड फूड सप्लीमेंट्स फ्री रेडिकल्स डैमेज द ग्रोथ डेवलपमेंट एंड सर्वाइवल ऑफ सेल्स इन द बॉडी दे आर रिएक्टिव नेचर अलाउज दैम to engage in unnecessary side reactions causing cellular impairment and eventually injury when they are present in disproportionate amounts they directly impair cell membranes and dna now how are free radicals formed the chemicals cortisol a steroid hormone produced by the adrenal cortex and catecholamines secreted by cells and tissues of different systems of the human body mostly by the nervous and the endocrine systems created by mental stress can create free radicals free radical molecules are natural by product of cell metabolism substances that generate free radicals can be found in the food we eat the medicines we take the air we breathe and the water we drink these substances include fried foods alcohol tobacco smoke pesticides and air pollutants various studies and theories have connected oxidative stress due to uh, accumulation of free radical damage to number 1 the central nervous system diseases such as alzheimers and other dementias number 2 cardiovascular disease due to clog arteries number 3 autoimmune and inflammatory disorders such as uh, rheumatoid arthritis and cancer number 4 cataracts and age related vision decline and number 5 age related changes in appearances such as loss of uh, skin elasticity wrinkles graying hair hair loss and changes in hair texture diabetes and other related issues then genetic degenerative disease such as parkinsons so what are antioxidants antioxidants are compounds that inhibit oxidation antioxidants are substances that may protect your cells against free radicals examples of antioxidants include vitamin c and d selenium carotenoids such as uh, beta carotene lycopene lutein and zeaxanthin which is one of the most common carotenoid alcohols found in nature based on uh, current theories in nutrition our diet should include plenty of vegetables especially raw and fruit but most people probably do not get optimal amounts of the nutrients associated with this vegetables and fruits these nutrients include vitamins minerals antioxidants and other nutrients now ever since linus pauling 
science has turned to antioxidants to offset the damages to oxidative stress as a means of promoting health. Antioxidant supplements are recommended and their use is widespread. Normally, free radicals are taken care of by antioxidants. But when the free radicals are disproportionate to the antioxidant defenses, uh, that is when the antioxidant defenses are outnumbered by the hordes of free radicals, bad things happen. To clarify, short-term oxidative stress can actually be helpful in eliminating pathogens. Free radicals are essential to life. The body's ability to turn air and food into chemical energy depends on a chain of reactions of free radicals. Now, free radicals are also a crucial part of the immune system, floating through the veins and attacking foreign invaders. It is when the free radicals get out of control that things go downhill. Now, enter NRF2 the master regulator of antioxidative responses. NRF2 activators are proven to reduce significantly oxidative stress by activating the NRF2 pathway within our cells. So NRF2 is basically like a thermostat and works the same way as an air conditioner with the thermostat does. But instead of regulating temperature, it regulates stress levels that is oxidative stress. NRF2 regulates the stress level inside our cells by managing the body's built-in cellular protection system. If stress is high within the cell, NRF2 is turned on. And when stress is low, NRF2 is turned off. The NRF2 protein is known as the master regulator of antioxidants detoxification and cell defense expression. Now that we have established the importance of NRF2, where do we get it from? Uh, you can find these nutrients in turmeric, that is curcumin, from resveratrol, in grape skin and berries, that is still beans, from green tea and dark chocolates, that is catechins, and then lastly from uh, cruciferous veggies that is sulfora fein. It is highly advisable to consume these compounds every day to keep antioxidant systems in balance. This will result in positive adaptations that improve aging, reduce disease formation and improve the quality of life. There are other ways you can activate NRF2 like through particular supplements. Uh, there are plenty of studies that have evidence suggesting the medicinal benefits of the herbal supplements. But there is a catch. There is a possibility of overdosing or overactivating the NRF2 pathway. But there are potentially other side effects too. Namely, those that can occur to people who are naturally allergic to the herbal components included in the supplement. The side effects can be minor to serious. Please refer to the link the effects of dietary supplements that overactivate the NRF2 ARE system given in the description box. Now enter molecular hydrogen, the selective activator that is based on solid research. One uh, that is not only effective but also safe. Unlike uh, many products and supplements that have uh, side effects or potentially negative properties when overly consumed, molecular hydrogen has neither of these adverse effects. This is why molecular hydrogen is such a hot topic in clinical and pharmaceutical research right now. There have been several well-conducted trials suggesting that molecular hydrogen has the same benefits as the NRF2 synergizers available in the market claims to have and are completely safe. But to understand this benefit, we will need to know the dark side of NRF2. When it comes to NRF2, there can be such a thing as too much of a good thing. Even though NRF2 activation is useful 
in many cases having the nrf2 pathway turned on all the time can be harmful to the body there are a number of reasons why high concentrations of antioxidants may be harmful at high concentrations antioxidants may number 1 act as prooxidants that is increasing oxidation number 2 protect dangerous cells such as cancer cells as well as healthy cells number 3 reduce the health benefits of exercise number 4 have unwanted side effects such as nausea and headaches or even reach toxic levels the dark side of nrf2 is that mutated cells or cancer cells can use the mutated form of a protein called keep one to their advantage it will form a shield or a protective barrier that would protect them from chemotherapeutic agents the immune system will not be able to do anything about it so if the keep one nrf2 pathway is mutated it can uh, make the tumor grow faster and become more resistant so in summary if the keep one protein is mutated it can cause cancer the nrf2 protein cannot protect the body from this mutated protein what early studies indicate is that having the nrf2 pathway activated constantly can actually increase the chances of mortality hypertension and albuminuria a sign of kidney disease this is the complete opposite of what we want that is where the hidden benefit of molecular hydrogen comes into play being a selective nrf2 activator meaning it works only when the body needs it so instead of constantly activating the nrf2 pathway molecular hydrogen initiates the nrf2 pathway only in times of cellular stress in other words with molecular hydrogen you get the benefits of nrf2 activation when you need it and none of the side effects that come from prolonged activation when you do not want one of the simplest ways to accelerate the nrf2 antioxidant defense pathways is simply by drinking electrolyzed reduced water rich in molecular hydrogen produced through water electrolysis i can assist you to own this amazing piece of technology which renders ordinary tap water into electrolyzed reduced water which brings the body back to balance contact me to learn more see you soon with another interesting episode of wellness and well being